Uh, hello everyone, White Mage Serenia here, coming to you with a bit of a... Well, this is actually going to be a video response to uh, Nintendo Capri Sun's Let's Play Mega Man X2 Episode 5. Figured I would show this off because, uh, well, I just really wanted to. As you can see, I don't have any of the weapons, and I just now got the arm upgrade. Reason being, because I wanted to show you an alternate way to get the um, heart tank and wheel gator stage. Someone actually pointed this out to me in my when I did this LP way back in uh, December of 2009. Uh, no, it was, yeah, whenever it was I did mine. That you could actually get hit by the enemy and use the invincibility to get the, um, the heart tank. So I'm going to show you how to do that. What you do is when this thing gets close enough, you wait for it to shoot its spines, and you jump into one intentionally, dash jump, and there you go. That's it. That's that for that for there. Well, alrighty then. Now I'm gonna meet you at Bubble Crab's level. So I will meet you there, and thank you for. Uh, yeah, we'll meet you there. <laughs> All right, and we are back. Now we're at Bubble Crab's level, and I went ahead and defeated Will Gator, as you can see there. Ah. Jump off the water, jump off the water. All right. Whoa, hey. Ah, they got me anyway. Now then. Not even going to worry about this thing. Now... I wanted to sh kind of prove that you don't need the bubble weapon or the leg upgrade, as a matter of fact, to get the heart tank in this level. Um, well, I mean, oh no, it's the sub tank. You well, you do need the bubbles to get the sub tank, not the heart tank. The heart tank's the one right up here. Um, all you got to do really is just dash jump off the tip of the jump right there. Well, hang on. Woo! Oh yeah, in case you didn't know, Tim. Um, yeah, if you charge the morph moth morph morph, morph moth weapon right here, you can get a lot of uh, energy tanks. Just figured I'd show that. We now jump off here at the tip of the jump, just like that. Dash jump, and there you go. Kind of like how Tim did it, but you just don't need the bubbles. Okay, now I'm gonna meet you back now at Magna Centipede's level, and I'll go get the leg upgrade. Um, from Overdrive Ostris, and I'll meet you there. So I'll be right back, everyone. All right, everyone, we are back yet again. Now we are finally at Magna Centipede's level. And as you can see, I still only have Wheel Gator's move. Now, this I actually discovered on my own, this next trick I'm going to show you here. I found it by accident, honestly. It's a kind of like a combination of uh, wheel, the Wheel Gator get the arm early, and the, well, yeah, it's it's a spin-off, a take... Um, a take of uh, a takeoff of that actually. What you do is you stand right, well, at the f far end of the jump that you can jump, and you want to jump in such a way that you're going to catch this high ledge up here. It's not exactly easy, but it's doable. I've done it before. Uh huh. Like this. No. Come on, Mega. Ah. Of course, it would not want to work now. There we go. Now, see, I told you you could grab that ledge. It's not exactly the easiest of easies, you know, easiest of things. That, would you... All right. Ah, almost had it. Oh, come on. See, that's the main problem with that, too, though, is he'll sometimes... Uh, there we go. Yeah, see, just... There, see? It's a bit of a stretch to do, but you can do it. Now, let's just go on through the stage like normal. Because I was... Uh, just slip through all that. Whoa. Okay, come on down. Ah, missed it. Let's rewind. Hmm. Okay. Fall down, you spiky thing. There we go. There. Alrighty then, that's really all I wanted to show you, and um, I'll get this episode or this thing posted as soon as I can. Till then, everyone, thank you so much for watching, and have a nice day. Oh, and before I forget, sorry I haven't posted any videos in a while. I wanted to also go ahead and update you guys that uh, I have managed to trade my PS3 off for a brand new one. Um, but the pain, but problem is, the shop that I traded it to was all out of stock, a brand new one. So I have a rain check, so i got to wait for the uh, shop to restock. So I will be getting a brand new PS3 Slim soon. Got it for virtually for free. 
on top of that, I will re, re uh, I will be returning to my LPs soon. Um, I've just got to figure out how I want to do things. I'm having a bit of a, a bit of technical difficulties with Pinnacle. It's having problems. Re uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it's having problems loading my files for some reason. But I'll figure out what's causing that and get that underway. And then I'll return to Final Fantasy X and Kingdom Hearts 2 soon enough. I'm also te I'm very tempted to start into a new LP that I've been considering. So be on the lookout for that. Anyway, everyone, this has been White Mage Serenia signing off of this uh, of this sort of little bonus episode of Mega Man X2. To let everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. Hello, everyone. White Mage Serenia here. Welcome you back to the bonus episode that I was recording previously. This is actually from a different playthrough that I was doing once before. I wanted to kind of show a trick that I found with the Flame Dash weapon. I found it randomly, completely by accident, and I forgot to show it off before when I was showing you the uh, tricks to get the Heart Tank and Bubble Crab and Wheel Gator without needing the um, Flame Dash uh, and how I get to get the Heart Tank in this stage without the Flame Dash. And then it dawned on me that I didn't show another trick that I found with the Flame Dash, which is what I'm going to show you now, actually. I just need to get through all this mess. Woo! Yeah. I don't I'm not sure if Tim even knew this really because uh well anyway, he was trying to do it like this and then dash out like that, but no. You can do it another way. You can actually dash and then release it and you get up there. So that's really easy to do. However, that's not what I wanted to show you. This was. Apparently, you can actually do a triple air dash if you do it just right. Watch this. There you go. Once you do the flame dash, you can dash again immediately in the air. See? Well, let me show that off again. You can even change direction. That's kind of cool. It's like, eh, ha, woo. Little aerobatics there for you. Just to do it again. Woo. Ah, oh, crap. Woo, I messed that up completely. Meow, meow. Oh, hey, woo, now. <laughs> it's a zigzag. Alright, that's really all I wanted to show you guys. This has been White Mage Serenia signing off. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Have a nice day.